What's up everybody, this is Danny, and a lot of you guys have been asking me about my new office and asked me to do a full office setup tour, which is coming really soon. But I wanted to answer one of the questions that I see the most in the comment section in my video, and that is about the entertainment setup right here. So let's start with the center of this entertainment setup, for I know you guys are dying to know who makes this. This is the BDI Ola a premium media cabinet that is built for the AV enthusiast. And even though this is on the higher end of the price spectrum here, there are so many great features about it that make it a must have for me and for the center of my new office. I saw this at my local Best Buy and I absolutely fell in love with it. Number one, it is the best looking and most stunning media cabinet that I have ever seen. It does come in two colors, but I decided to go with the super clean and ultra modern black and white color, and I couldn't be happier with the look. There are nice and beautiful curves on the front to give it a unique look and just nice and clean lines everywhere else. The materials are premium here and the build quality is off the charts. This cabinet can hold up to a 75 inch TV, but the TV that I have on here is the 65 inch Hisense ULED Curve model, which we'll go over a little bit more in this video. And the Ola holds it up perfectly and complements the curved TV for a complete and cohesive look. It's not just the looks that make this the ultimate choice for your epic entertainment setup. There are nice tempered IR friendly glass doors on both sides to be able to hide all of your components if you want to with adjustable shelving. There's plenty of ventilation throughout and you can easily remove this back panel to access the IOs when you need to. What's also great is there are hidden wheels underneath the legs, making it easy for you to move the entertainment setup if you need to. Well, it's a lot easier if you're on a hard floor surface, but little designs and features like this set it above its competition. There are integrated levelers built in too, just in case your floor is not level. There's high quality hinges and plenty of ports to make your cable management a breeze. Even though my setup is a work in progress, the BDI Ola is a fantastic foundation to a great entertainment setup. I mean, come on, it even has threaded inserts with rubber O-rings to minimize vibrations, even with the loudest of sound systems. It's the little things, the little details. It's amazing. Next up are these beautiful speakers elevating the audio here, and this is the Kef Egg audio system. These speakers are great for this setup and for many reasons. And the first reason is flexibility. They are small and they flank each side of the TV with a clean and unique look. They can actually be used on a desk setup as well. So if I decide that I want to use the eggs for a different application later down the road, I have that choice. Connectivity is also a part of its flexibility. So you can choose to connect via Bluetooth if you want for easy playback with APTX support and its mini USB input can support high res audio with this built-in DAC and it supports up to 24 bit 96 kilohertz audio. What makes this work for this entertainment setup is that there is an optical audio port on the side. I wish it was on the back. It's kind of a weird placement here, but it makes it easy for you to get great sound in a compact form factor for your TV entertainment setup. It also comes with one of the most beautiful remotes I've ever seen, and the IR port is on the front of the right speaker. This setup is in a 2.1 configuration, so if you're having trouble with the sound, just change the output of the TV to match the speakers and you should be just fine. On this TV, I don't have that option, but going through my Oppo DVD player, I had zero issues. But for most of you, it should just be plug and play. The most important part is that the sound is incredible. The sound is full and crystal clear. The vocals sound amazing with a nice richness to them. They get really loud and they don't distort but they aren't the bassiest on the market, but that's why there's a subwoofer input on the side so you can add that element if you need more bass. This unique UniQ driver system combines the mid-range and high frequency into one single driver, so no matter where you're sitting, you can get a consistent and balanced sound. You really have to hear them to believe it. I can't believe that this kind of rich sound is coming out of this small speaker package. I love them, I highly suggest them. I get this question on almost every video, so here is the answer. This is the 65 inch Hisense curved ULED 4K model, and it is absolutely stunning. It's a beautifully designed TV with thin bezels and that immersive curve that makes the viewing experience incredible. Also comes with a unique stand as well, but you can wall mount this if you want to. There's plenty of ports on the back, including four HDMI ports with HDMI 2.0 support for 4K output, three USB ports, ethernet, optical audio, RCA, and much more. 
This is a smart TV with built-in Netflix and Amazon Prime Video, all accessible through the remote. Not the prettiest remote, but it's functional. What makes it special is that this panel is a 4K Ultra LED Quantum Dot TV with incredible contrast and vibrant colors with a full array LED backlighting system. And this is also one of the brightest panels that I have ever tested this year. And the picture quality is amazing. With a little bit of tweaking on the settings, I have to say this is the best picture that I've seen so far this year. And that's why this remains on my entertainment setup. This TV is also HDR10 capable, 120 Hertz native refresh rate, and gaming has also been great with the new Xbox One S, which I just got and can't wait to get some HDR capable games for it, and also with the PlayStation 4. I love watching movies on this. I'm currently using the Oppo BDP 103D Blu-ray player with 4K upscaling, and has a ton of built-in smart features. It has a ton of IO on the back, has amazing picture quality and sound capabilities. I actually technically could use this as my central multimedia unit if I wanted to. It's a perfect Blu-ray player besides native 4K support, which I know they are probably working on right now. But I love this thing. The build quality is absolutely impeccable and it looks awesome as well. This setup is perfect for me in my office for this is where I like to catch up on my favorite 4K YouTube videos. And this TV is one of the best curved quantum dot displays out there. And I've seen this as cheap as $1,800 on Amazon from time to time. So you need to check the current prices on it. And I think it's a great value overall. So if you wanna see more of this TV and more brand new Hisense TVs that are available, let me know in the comment section below for I think they make some of the best values in 4K TVs right now on the market. This video is not sponsored, it's just real facts. So all links will be down below for you to check out. I still have so much to add, but I wanted to share this anyway. Of course, I still love my Nvidia Shield TV. I love it for the 4K output and awesome gaming and its frequent updates. And I have some empty space here that I just keep my remotes in and my controllers. And to tie all of this together, I'm still using the Ray Universal Remote, which is a touchscreen remote based off of Android. It has a unique user interface, and I did a full review on this, so I'll link that down below if you're interested. But I still love to use this touchscreen interface. It's easy to use. I love the build quality. It might not be the most full feature Universal Remote out there, but I personally love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at my entertainment setup. All of the things shown here will be linked below if you want to check them out. I'll continue this series and update you on what I've changed throughout the year. And there are a few more things I need to get like a receiver, but all of this is a learning process for me and I hope you enjoy it all with me. So subscribe for the update, smack that like button if you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.